Now I want to discuss about the concept and that is checked exception and unchecked exception. You can say that the exception which occurs at the run time is known as a unchecked exception. And the exception which occurs at the compile time it is known as a checked exception. All the subclass of the runtime exception are known as an unchecked exception and all the class which are directly available under the exception is known as a checked exception. Let me give you the practical demonstration. Let me save this program as demo10.java. Let me declare here one class that is demo10. Let me put this particular code in a comment. Now here I want to write a main function that is public static void main. Now in which situation the exception that is the checked exception is available in which situation unchecked exception is available. Let me write here the exception that is checked exception and unchecked exception. Checked exception is the example is interrupted exception. Interrupted exception is the example of checked exception and unchecked exception arithmetic exception array index out of bound exception null pointer exception all these are you can say the exception which are unchecked exception null pointer exception number format exception it means it gives the exception at the runtime not at the compile time. Now I want to give you the demo of compile time. For example, let me write here for loop. So I'm writing here that is integer i equal to 1, i less than or equal to 10, i plus plus. And now I want to print the message over here. And the message is system.out.print line Atmir University MCA. Now I want to display this message that is Atmiya University after every second. So here you can call the function that is thread.sleep. Here you can provide the millisecond. For example, 1000 millisecond is equal to one second. So after taking the pose of one second over here, the message Atmiya University will be displayed. You can save this. But whenever you try to compile this particular program, you will get an error. And the error is what? Unreported exception. For example, let me compile this particular program and that is Java C demo 10.java. See here, I'm getting an error and that is what? Unreported exception, interrupted exception must be caught or declared to be thrown. So what I need to do? I have to catch this exception. If I'm not catching this exception, then I will not be able to even compile my program and that is the reason why this exception that is interrupted exception is known as a checked exception. So how to handle this? We have to write this particular code within try and catch. So we can catch and the exception that is interrupted exception. Here suppose if you want to print a message that is the stack trace then you can simply print an object of interrupted exception. Now you can save this. Now here you can compile your program and there is Java C demo 10 dot Java. Now you will be able to compile successfully and once it compiles successfully you can run this particular code and what happens students. It will print the message Atmiya University at every one second. See here, I'm getting the message Atmi University MCA, Atmi University MCA. And it will run up to 10 times. And 10 times I will get the message Atmiya University MCA. So you can say that I have to catch the checked exception. But if it is an unchecked exception, I don't need to catch. If I have a value that is integer a is equal to 20 b equal to 0 and I'm writing here system dot out dot print line and that is a divided by b I know that there is an arithmetic exception in this my code but even if it will allow me to compile this particular code so you can compile this code it will not give you any exception over here 
but it will throw the exception runtime and that is the reason why abnormal termination will be there and you will not get the message Atmi University MCA even and you, it, you will be terminated abnormally. Now you don't want to abnormally terminate then you can use a try and catch over here. So what we can do here we can put a try and catch and here we can write arithmetic exception. So what happened if arithmetic exception is there then it will simply caught this. Now I will be even able to run this particular code and I will get 10 time Atmi University MCA. So what happens students problem in this code will not affect the execution of this code and that you can resolve using the exception handling. Otherwise what happened the problem in this code will terminate your program and this program will not be executed. So what I did I handled the two exception one is this is unchecked exception and this is checked exception. But what is the difference? The difference is this exception is occur at the runtime. So no need to catch this but I have to catch this particular exception. Here you can get the input from the user. For example you can write here integer dot parse int and you can write args of 0. So this b has the value that is user defined value. Right. You can save this. Now here you can compile your particular program and you can run. Now what happened? Suppose if user provide the value 5 then there is no abnormal termination. So now this is runtime. So if user provide the proper input then I will get the 20 divided by 5 that is 4 and even I, both the code will be executed. So I am getting Atmi University MCA 10 time also. But suppose if user provide 0 here then it's an abnormal termination and my other code will not be work. So what we can do? We can write the try and catch over here. And I have to write the try and catch over here. If you are not handling this particular exception, if you are not handling this particular exception that is interrupted, then you will not be able to compile your program. If you compile this, then you will get an error and the error will be what unreported exception interrupted exception it means it you how to caught this particular exception so what is the solution to this very simple you can simply remove this command and you can catch this particular exception if you catch the exception perfectly then you will be able to compile the program and you, you will be able to pass the value also and you will get the output so this is what the difference between checked exception and unchecked exception.